Now an historic day winding down for SpaceX. The company launched its fifth Starship rocket from Starbase. And for the first time, the company was able to successfully catch the Super Heavy booster back at the launch pad. Our Jorge Bella was there and had a reaction from the excited space fans. East Lavranca Park was packed with fans eager to see the Starship lift off. They were also eager to see the booster come back to the launch pad. This feat will now allow the agency to refurbish and use the booster for future launches. Some like the Seattle family arrive early to catch some fish and eat while waiting for the launch. We're going to fish for a while and then we're going to just go into a symbol camp. Others arrive early after a long day on the road. We spoke with Dominic Cardenas who came from New Mexico. He said he came down even without knowing if the FAA would approve the launch. I, I took a risk when I heard about it on Monday and I'm like, boss, I need to put in my leave for these dates right now and get it approved. And then I think it was around uh, 12.45 I started uh, driving and yeah, because I wanted to make it early here. Others came from Utah, Tamaulipas, San Antonio and even New York. Donna and Tony Walker were visiting from Tennessee and they got emotional while watching history being made. I absolutely was uh, blown away. It was absolutely surreal to, to be a part of history going on. Even space fans from the Valley were in awe of what they witnessed. It gets your heart pumping, your adrenaline going. Uh, then when it detaches the different stages of it, just, I don't know. Like, it's just the feeling of it, it's crazy. Like, it's just so, you know, emotionally, uh, powerful. One thing is clear, those in attendance strongly believe that reaching Mars is a real possibility. Probably yours, I don't know about mine. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I mean, I think, uh, what did Elon say, 2028 or something? He was going to start launching. So, yeah, maybe my lifetime. I probably got four years in me. <laughs> As for Starship, it also successfully re-entered the Earth's atmosphere and landed smoothly in the Indian Ocean. Reporting for NBC 23, from Isla Branca, I'm Jorge Vela.